So today, we have such an exciting episode. We're grabbing the humble zucchini, and like I've told you in the past, truly one of the best ingredients available to us, and we're making a delicious recipe. We're talking zucchini fritters, and we're gonna serve them next to a delicious spicy garlic mayo alioli. And let me tell you, these fritters have a light crispy texture on the outside with a delicious flavor on the inside. They are so easy to make, and the best part, it's all done in just 30 minutes. Folks, serve these fritters as a tapas appetizer or even as a main course. Either way, I promise with that first bite, you are gonna get hooked on them because they are so good. All right, let's begin by grabbing two small to medium-sized zucchinis. These have already been washed and patted dry, or you can use one large one, and cutting off about half an inch from the ends, which is one and a quarter centimeters. And then using a box grater, we'll finely shred the zucchini. Then we'll transfer the grated zucchini into a colander and you want to make sure to have a bowl underneath. And we'll season it with sea salt and let it sit here for a couple minutes. That way that salt can extract the water out of the zucchini. In the meantime, let's start making our batter. I'm going to add in half a cup of all-purpose flour into a large bowl. This is about 60 grams. We'll make a well in the middle. Crack in one large egg. and whisk the egg together until it's well mixed. Then we'll add in one third cup of club soda, which is about 90 milliliters. And we'll mix everything together until we end up with a batter that has no lumps in it. Then we'll add in one small onion that's been finely chopped two cloves of garlic that have been roughly chopped, two tablespoons of chopped fresh parsley, which is about eight grams. You can substitute this for one third the amount of dried parsley. And we'll season everything with sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll give it a mix until everything's well mixed together. Then we'll move back to the zucchini. Using a wooden spoon, I'm gonna start pushing down on the grated zucchini. This is to remove any of that excess water that's been extracted by the salt. Then we'll add in the zucchini into the batter. And we'll give it a mix until everything's well mixed together. And let me tell you, your batter's too thick. You just add in some more club soda in there. And vice versa, if it's too thin, add in more flour. Either way, you want to end up with a semi-thick creamy batter. And that's the exact texture you're looking for right there. For the next step, let's start cooking up our fritters. I'm going to heat a large fry pan with a medium heat. And add in half a cup of extra virgin olive oil, which is 120 milliliters. Of course, you can use other oils here if you like, but by using extra virgin is what gives these fritters that beautiful lift of flavors. Once the oil is nice and hot, but it's not smoking, I'm gonna start adding in spoonfuls of the batter into the pan, and you wanna make sure they're on a single layer and evenly spaced out, so cook this in batches to not overcrowd the pan. And we're gonna go for about two minutes per side on the fritters or until they're golden fried all around. And as you finish each batch, transfer the fritters over a wire rack with some paper towels underneath to remove any of the excess oil. And if you wanna keep your fritters warm while you cook the rest of the batches, you just add them into a preheated oven at its lowest setting. While we're cooking the rest of the fritters, let's make our spicy garlic mayo alioli, which just takes about one minute to put together. I'm gonna add in half a cup of mayonnaise into a small bowl. This is about 120 grams. Then we'll finely grate in one large clove of garlic. As always, if you don't have a grater, you can just finely mince the garlic. Add in one teaspoon of hot smoked Spanish paprika, which is two and a half grams. This is what gives this sauce that beautiful smoky and spicy kick. One teaspoon of fresh lemon juice, which is five milliliters. And one tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil, which is 15 milliliters. Then we'll season with a kiss of sea salt and freshly cracked black pepper. And we'll whisk it together until we end up with a creamy sauce. 
As always, the hot smoked Spanish paprika I'm using is from Kiva. You'll find a link where you can get some in the description box below, and if you buy it from that link, you'll also get 25% off your order. All right, let's move back to the fritters. Once they're all cooked, this dish is ready to go. I'm gonna transfer the alioli into a serving plate and then decorate the fritters around the alioli. And check it out, our zucchini fritters with a spicy garlic mayo alioli are done. This is known in Spain as buñuelos de calabacín. Beautiful presentation, so easy to make, and all done in just 30 minutes. Let's give them a try and see how they turned out. I'm telling you, this is a dish I cannot wait to try because these fritters look amazing. And unlike the ones that I made a couple weeks ago, the cod fritters, I did not cheat. I haven't tried one yet. I did resist. Here, and it was really hard. Here we go. The fritters, beautiful light crispy texture on the outside and the inside, filled with so many great flavors. And that spicy garlic mayo alioli takes these to the next level. Once again, folks, give these a try at home and I promise with that first bite, you are gonna get hooked on them because they are so good. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Adalai, Steven Riggs, and John Kachanowski. And guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on a Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button as it really helps out the channel. Leave me a comment below. And as always, don't forget to share this video with your family and friends. That way our Spain on a Fork community can continue to grow. Till the next time, hasta luego.